that's done, the faster we can bung him out. For what? What have I done wrong? Let me out of here. Let me the out of here. That's not what we gonna do. Zach, get the f out of my Alright people, what's up? Today we're checking out a very feisty Karen that tries to escape the police but gets arrested. On December 29th, 2021, police were dispatched to a two-vehicle accident in La Crosse, Wisconsin. When officers arrived, they observed a red Chevy vehicle with heavy front end damage and a white SUV up against another car. Setting the scene here, it kind of sounds like a Karen that has no idea how to drive. And with it being late at night, I highly believe that this person is probably drinking and driving. If that isn't the case, then you can consider me shocked. Who's driving it? That's my car. She, she hit the car and hit that one into that one. Who's driving a red car? I was. You was? I talk to you over here. Yep. The 27-year-old driver of the red Chevy was identified as Brittany Scholler yep. and was determined to be the striking vehicle. Wait a second. So this lady hit an idle car and caused another car to hit another car? And how the fuck do you damage your car that much? This woman is totally drinking and driving. Drunk fucking bimbo. Date of birth, huh? All right, so where are you coming from? Um, friend's house. Friend's house? All right, what were you doing at your friend's house? Hanging out. Listen, lady, when you're trying to lie to the police and you give a big fucking joker smile, that's not very convincing. Just a minute, lady, you fucked up. You were drinking and driving. Hanging out. Do you have anything to drink tonight? Unfortunately, no. Why the fuck would you say that? If the police are questioning you whether you've been drinking and driving and you reply this shit, you are seriously not helping your case. Is this lady, like, trying to get her fucking ass behind bars? While talking with Brittany, officers noticed her glossy eyes, an odor of intoxicants coming from her person, and slurred speech. Have you been drinking tonight? No. Not any drugs at all? No, absolutely not. So, you said you was at your friend's house for three hours, correct? Okay, what exactly are you got? Like, what were you guys doing, man? Just hanging out. Just hanging being out. friends. Holy fucking shit. You are being friends at your friend's house? Don't give me that puppy eyed fucking face. We know you're guilty. Based on the observations, officers asked her to participate in standardized field sobriety tests. Due to the cold weather and snow, officers decided to administer the field sobriety test at the City of right. La Crosse Police Department. So, basically, what the field is, I can kind of smell a little bit of alcohol. Alcohol and toxic consumption from coming from you, okay? So, you gotta come with me, you gotta go back to the. I don't want you to do out in the cold, alright? We won't go. Right, it's my job. We gotta make smarter decisions when we drive in, okay? My little brother fucking died six months ago. Oh, for fuck's sake. Audience, I get it. Life can get tough sometimes, but when you fuck up in life, don't bring up your dead relatives as an excuse to get out of it. It's like, holy shit, just let your little brother become fucking fertilizer already and just answer the cop's questions. What is it called? You got to record so we got to go to the station, okay? <laughs> My little brother died six months ago. Please. Man, I have a job to do, okay? <laughs> died. Whose fucking empathy do you think you're getting? Oh my gosh, your brother died. I don't give a shit. Let the cops do their fucking job. Just Brittany, let me go. Just let me go. Boy, Robert, Just Ida, let Tom, me go. Tom, Tom. Well, I can smell some intoxicants coming from you, okay? So my I'm brother died. <laughs> my brother died. Yeah. <laughs> My brother died three months ago. Holy shit, did he come back to life? This woman just said that her brother died six months ago. Now what's three months ago? Did this guy get fucking resurrected? My question is, does this guy even exist? Uh, just let me go, please. Please, just let me go. <laughs> My brother fucking right. died. Okay, so look at this accident and tell me if you could have caused some injury to somebody else. Oh, baby, shots were fired. Being real with you guys, Officer Badass does have a point. You can hoot and holler all you fucking want about your brother dying, but you could have caused harm to somebody else. Let's not worry about the family fertilizer and let's talk about the problem at hand, please. I'm good for that because you're a fucking piece of shit, fucking loser ass motherfucker. Fucker.
My brother died in a car accident. Oh, well, isn't that ironic? You know, this story is all coming together so perfectly for this lady. At this point, I'm honestly questioning if this brother even exists in the first place, or if this lady's just lying out of her ass to get a good story for the police to let her go. If this brother really does exist and died in a car accident, may his soul rest in peace. But for the love of Santa's cock, let's not use him as an excuse to get away from the police. You're kind of being a piece of shit. We've already been in jail, dude. Come on. My brother fucking died. Come on, Brittany. <laughs> My brother died. Come on, Brittany. Do you not care Brittany. about that? Okay, I agree. Okay, okay. I'm here. I agree. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. But I think my... Seriously, I'm I'll serious. Grab, I'll grab your stuff after, okay? We gotta go inside, all right? Okay. It's kinda cold, I, okay? I'm, <laughs> Come on. I'm on your side. You seem like a really nice guy. All right, all right Brittany, I actually go inside, really okay? like you. You see my age? I, I have... I, my brother fucking died. What is this lady trying to accomplish? The reason you're at the police station is to take a drug test, not flirt with the fucking officer. What? what? Why, right. why, why are you arresting me? No, I just need to participate in the test right okay. now, okay? So, oh, all right. so what I need you to do, I need you to keep your feet together like so. Keep your arms down by your side, all right? You're arresting me. No, I'm not. I'm actually participating in some You're tests right me. now. Okay, maybe I'm like massively confused right now. In what way, shape, or form is this guy instructing you harassment? As far as we know, the police can't really harass you because they kind of have the right to put their hands on you at any given time. The sooner you can stop being a piece of shit, you can start going home. Open your eyes for me, okay? No, you already think I'm a piece of shit anyway. Yeah, I didn't say that, Brittany. No, I know that you do. You guys already think I'm a fucking loser. Hey, can you get back in that stance for me, please? Do you understand that Brittany. my brother died three months ago? My little brother died? Three months ago. Oh. Audience, for every time that this lady brings up her little brother, I urge you to take one shot of vodka. I guarantee you this video is going to cause at least 50 casualties. Okay, okay, just gotta finish a few no, times. exactly. You know what? And I'm sorry. Brandy, I, I, I understand. You know what? And I respect you guys very much. I really do. All and right, so, I'm, Brandy, can you get back I'm in the stand for me? My little brother died. And I just, I don't think that any... Understands it. It's not that nobody understands, it's just nobody gives a shit right now. You caused a car accident, you could have caused serious damage to somebody. So instead of worrying about your little brother, let's worry about how you might be turning somebody else into your little brother. God, you guys are fucking You understand the test? <laughs> I understand. It's just hilarious how men think that they can fucking do it. I mean, they are police officers. So to answer your statement, yes, fucking police officers can do whatever the fuck they fucking want to anybody. And since you don't have a gold badge on your titty, then you can't tell other people what to do. That's right. Get fucked. I need to. It's up to you. You don't have to if you don't want to. Well, then no, I won't do it. Okay. Yeah. Well. Alright, so Brittany, you're under arrest for ODOD. Wait, oh my god, wait, you guys, guys, hey. Wow, it's almost like resisting the police gets you fucking arrested. Great job, Scooby Doo, you cracked the fucking case. Never been arrested for OWI before, okay? So tonight you're gonna get some tickets and you're gonna get the chance to go home. You know what the fuck is gonna happen to you guys? Brittany. I'm gonna fucking, fucking let everybody know that you guys fucking fucked me over, you fucking piece of shit. Holy shit, we got false allegations in this bitch. I definitely didn't think this arrest would be escalating to this caliber. We are finally uncovering the care and attributes of this woman. No, you fucking losers. You know, you guys fucking try to fucking have sex with me, you fucking losers. Yeah, yeah, guess what? I have your fucking semen in my fucking... Stop it. Fuck you! I am so glad that police officer cut her off because only God knows what that woman is about to say a second later. And I know for a fact what that woman was about to say wasn't gonna be pretty. You know, I my That's not your fucking semen, you That's fucking not what we gonna do! No, exactly. No, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs>
We're gonna get your foot in the car. You're assaulting me! Alright, I understand that this woman is drunk as hell, but even when you're drunk or high as a fucking kite, you should actually be able to understand and respect some police officers. It is actually insane how close this woman is to getting in jail. They're trying to fucking rape me. Are you serious? It's all bearing camera. Fuck that! Get the fuck out of my fucking face, you piece of fucking shit! We're not gonna get the be fuck out of my That's fucking not what we gonna do. face! You're fucking friend almost tried to fucking rape me do you not understand that do you really not give a fuck you're a fucking piece of shit what i know is that the person that is taking me here is a fucking rapist you're a fucking rapist yeah i think i've seen enough bullshit today anyways audience that's it for today please click the video on screen i promise you'll love it but anyways yeah subscribe